Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial. Uh, this is the part uh, 5 of this tutorial about uh, L1 parser and this tutorial I just want to explain to you how is the algorithm uh, gonna work. Uh, first thing here we have uh, you know to understand that when we uh, constructing um, the basic data structures that we need here for this L1 parser are the parsing table, uh, the stack, and the input. So stack gonna have terminal and non-terminal. Input, input here is just only uh, you know terminal. So first thing we need to push the first element or dollar sign let me just push the first element of the input here and push the first uh, production rule uh, you know the, the right side the, the non-terminal here so G is the first non-terminal A is the first input so we have in the stack right now A and the top of the stack we have G so we need to compare and this is very important we need to compare G with the given input or the given token from the input so the token here is A and the input is all this string so we need to get this token and it, and it at index 0 right and compare it with G so we need to compare G is it terminal or non-terminal it's obvious here that G is non-terminal so when we have non-terminal and here we have you know, um, when you have here non-terminal, you need to know that we need to consult the parsing table. So we need to know what is the next grammar uh, or the next grammar from from G. Maybe we're gonna have G give us, for example, T or G, uh, you know, give us other thing so we need to to consult the parsing table which one is the best here so we're gonna consult the parsing table In the first table we have non-terminal so suppose here I have a and here I have a so here in this case I have here terminal and here I have also terminal so because I have here terminal I just wanna bub the stack so basically I just do bub the top of the stack and also I don't pop the input but I just move the index to the next advance the index to the next input so in this case the index number one so I just bub up the stack or bub the stack and uh, advance the input so what about the case when I have here um, let me say I have uh, the input is the same as the stack. In that case, you know, I, I'm just in the in the code. I just said when we have input equal dollar sign, we got an accepted grammar. But you can say, which is much better and stronger, if a is equal to q is equal to dollar sign I'm, go I'm just gonna take it as an accepted grammar okay you know but I did I tested the two cases and the both are work in the, in the in you know in the code so uh, so basically what that mean here in the code we just give it the input to the parser and uh, we have the here here's the input the, the index number minus one okay basically basically it's minus one I just started from minus one uh, the stack is equal to a new stack here we, we fill the table the you know the table that we designed in the previous tutorial we just fill the rice you know we know that we have first here uh, G and G give us a dollar sign so we just put a dollar sign here G give us a dollar sign here we have E give us TK TK and here for example H give us empty or lambda so we got empty so for example in the semi uh, in the last one F give us E A so here we got A so and so forth 
So you just fill in the um, parsing, parsing table. Here we have the non-terminal and terminal. So we just started with the uh, with the L1 parser. We just give it the input, and we have this algorithm, which is the main class of all. Um, let me just close this. Uh, this is the main class for all of our, um, you know, par uh, parser, L1 parser. So basically, what we do here, we just take the first input and push it to the stack and also we just uh, push G which is the first grammar rule and after that we we just read the input and we say top is equal to null and here inside the loop we just say we initialize the top and here inside the, the do while loop we have do while loop here that you know just uh, continue searching among all the input string you know um, according to the parser table we just you know loop across all the elements so first here we have the, uh, the you know we just take the tab and we we check if it's non-terminal we need to do something if it's terminal we need, need we need to do uh, other thing if it's not terminal and non terminal we say it's never happens right and if it's equal to dollar sign we say break if token if 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 the input is equal to dollar sign we're gonna break and we're gonna say while uh you know you know for the do while loop and after we you know exit the 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 while loop we just say okay we have token here if token the equals to dollar sign we gotta say input is accepted else we're gonna say input is not accepted by the L1 parser and we have many classes here we're gonna see how to build all these classes uh, in the next video thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video